What's up, everybody? Gonna play some uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon tonight. We are starting from scratch. Haven't played it in... Oh, it's gotta be 20 years. I don't know when it came out, but it's gotta be pretty close to 20 years. Probably do an hour or so tonight. Unfortunately, we're stuck watching the intro. And we'll see if bourbon and uh, lack of sleep affect gameplay. If I'm right, this is the first of uh, the Game Boy Advance um, Castlevania games. Crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering, the ruler of darkness. You are heroes, Dracula. Dracula, I have waited for this moment to be awake again, to bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Dracula, indeed, though I lack my full power. Camilla, we're preparing the right to replenish your power. Boris, stop. Boris Baldwin, you cannot be allowed to taint the world. You, I remember, you were the, one of the vampire killers that steal, sealed me. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing to use my nemesis life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone. Hugh, Nathan, Master, Father. Nathan, hmm, no creatures around here. Hugh, are you okay? Yeah. We were just brushed aside and ignored. We have to find Master. I'll go. He's my father. Nathan, you'll be in the way. Just get out of here. I want to find Master as much as anybody. And thus begins the game. So in this game, you start with, I believe, the slide. Yep. And you can uh, swing the whip around by holding it down. get these cards which I think that's a guaranteed drop in one of the first three skeletons um, that are used for your uh, magic we'll get another I think it's mercury off of one of the first uh, skeleton uh, dragon heads Oops. games where you wish you had the R dash. No card in that one. Let's try this one. Nope. One of the first few will end up having a card that you can use the fire whip if I remember everything kind of correctly. Save point. We're locked in. Double 
check over here just in case, because honestly can't remember anything. Nope. Can't go that way. Got a knife. Most useless of the weapons. Sub weapons. So this one is RPG-ish in that you level up. You can put on different armor, different items and stuff. It's really just a Metroidvania. I can't believe we have not gotten the first magic spell. And I hate these damn worms. Cotton clothes. Body? There. The poison might actually kill me. It's gonna be ridiculous. Yep. Alright. I guess I'll be a little bit more careful. But I would like to get that card. going. So the only way to kill these stupid things is to do the uh, swing. Antidote would have been nice earlier. And because we hadn't saved, I lost the run. Alright, so we'll be a little bit more careful with this guy. Obviously. Not lose three quarters of our life to him. Can't go that way, 
stone blocking it. Nothing this way, so we're right back to where we were going before. When I died. At least I thought so. Let's see, map. There's one door up there, and there's one door down here, right? Yeah. Look at all the antidotes spilling out of these stupid snakes. Just not when you need it. I guess you could slide through them.
funny that those are gremlins. <laughs> Gargoyle, maybe. The gremlin? Alright, I don't like those guys being on the uh, ledges above me. It's cheap. Throwing bones. And hugging, hugging the ledge the whole time. That way. This better not be a full dead end. That's about the only thing I remember from the uh, Game Boy Advance games is so many dead ends. Oh, and secret walls. That was fortuitous. kill their axes. I mean, they can throw them high or low. So most of the time, they aren't an issue. Uh, let's throw, it up, throw on that leather armor. Five more defense. A hundred down on intelligence? Let's not throw it on. Five is not the same as a hundred. That's crazy. Why would anybody do that? Platforming. I'd rather keep the uh, holy water. drop down the hole. Don't want to go down there. Like I said, I always try to work myself up first. Can't go that way. fight them going low all the time. The axes go over your head, and the low ones you hit. Didn't really care. chunk of hell for this point. If I wasn't streaming, I would farm them, because I'm pretty sure 
they give you one of the magic cards to where you can do the same thing and have a, uh, a lightning spell. But nobody likes to watch farming. Still takes you down a hundred, but up twenty-five. I, I guess we'll switch in the cotton if we need our magic. I think almost every enemy, well, it can't be every, but most of the enemies in the game have a uh, drop rate for the uh, magic cards. And like I said, there are tons of combinations. Another save. Nice. Oh dear, I'm out. Give me just a sec. stuff unexplored behind me since I always go up.
boss room, but I haven't saved in a little bit. Typically on the GBA games, there is a save room somewhere very near boss rooms, so I'm going to have a quick peek. I just respawn right here. Extraordinary to be dropped into the abyss and still live, but your luck is about to run out. Get out of my way. Child, before I finish you, I will tell you some news. Your precious master is already in our power. What? That old man will feed us with his soul. The rite has been prepared and we only await the full moon. No! Oh, okay, we are fighting. Not just talking. doing so well on the dodging. Seriously? second phase boss, isn't it? Seriously. Not cool. Maybe I should have taken that axe. And look how much life that took off. Just getting hit once by an electric skeleton. shot now we know what to expect we know there's at least a second phase Really? 
I hate that you can't slide on the platform up there because if you down and jump, you're not going to slide, you're going to drop through the floor. He just flew straight in. Okay. Maybe. Does it say next level is 827 points away? So that guy's worth 17. That's not worth farming. Let's look at what the electric skeleton is. 810 goes to 780. That's not really farming. I mean, that's only 30 points. What about the action? 780 goes down to... Se there were 50. Maybe another level will help. Six times through this room. I'll get a level. Maybe that'll up the power just enough. take down this boss and then I'm gonna call it a night. I know this was a short one, but I was on with Culture Casino on his channel. And we had a uh, pretty long night, so I just wanted to do a little bit of gaming before bed. I was doing 17 damage with Fire Whip before. It'd be so great if one of these uh, electric skeletons would drop something. It'd be nice to have some healing. I don't think I've seen any... Yeah, that's gonna make this harder. I don't think I've seen any potions or anything. I think I've only got magic ups. Hopefully that respawns. Alright. Fight the Necromancer again. I don't 
don't need the song and dance. We've already done this. Did it do this the second time? I thought it went straight into the fight. It's kind of weird. How much is that? 17 is now 22. That's better. I wonder if I go into the road. If the intelligence... Now it's hitting for 15. It said 22 the first time. Let's see if higher intelligence equals higher magic attack. Nope, 15. So it's not worth getting rid of the... 205 to 30. I got a second wristband, might as well put that on. So it's not worth getting rid of the armor for intelligence because it didn't raise the attack at all. Yeah, this isn't going well. I could have sworn I was hitting for 17 before I leveled up. I don't like the way that seems to be working. We'll get him. It's early in the game. I'm not leveled up. I'm apparently here way too early. Because I am not doing much of anything to this boss. And even these skeletons wreck me. took an optimal path to a place I'm not supposed to be yet. I don't care. I hate that it does this every time. Alright, we'll try to play a little bit more defensive minded. Of course it would help to hit him at all. So definitely want to have the uh, fire whip activated because not doing any damage without it. It's like three points lower. Ten minutes to spare. That didn't that wasn't as bad as I thought. I know Master is still alive. Hold on, I'll be there. The where is Hugh? I hate that after a boss it doesn't fill you up with anything. Tackle. Forward special button makes the player charge. And it looks like you can break blocks. So we've seen a lot of those. I can't remember. 
there was one up here or not. We might as well have a look. I know there was something blocking me up here. Yep. There. Bust through the blocks. Skeleton soldiers now. Okay. I'm still part of the castle we already know about. That blew up a wall, so that's a shortcut. Back to there. Okay, so I can drop all the way down, or I can go back where I came from. I opened up the shortcut. I'd rather go to the save point I know if I'm going to do anything, I guess. So I can go up. And I can go across and right. And... It's weird. It looks like from the map that I've already been in this area, but I had to... break a wall. I guess that was a shortcut, too, that connected. But I want to get to the save point walk in that boss fight. There we go. I can try to pull up. And the problem is remembering where all of these stupid rock walls were. I think we saw four or five of them. I can try to go up, and I can definitely go down and right, and see what is blocking that way. Axe armors only take two hits now, so that's good. What's up, Kathy? How are you? Yep, one of the classic Castlevanias. Uh, I believe this one, Circle of the Moon. I think it's the first one on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Okay, we came from up there. It almost looks like, yeah, there's a, definitely a wall there.
Yeah, I haven't played it since the original Game Boy Advance either. I mean, I just decided. I played a little bit of Symphony of the, Symphony of the Night uh, a few days ago, and I was like, you know what? Those GBA games were fun. But they were also, the level design was, on some of them, not well thought out. So, we'll see if this one frustrates me and I can't find where I'm supposed to go. Because most of the games guide you. But I, I think Harmony of Dissonance was the one that made me the most furious. You'd get something, but you'd have to... I mean, I think that one had the double castle thing. You'd have to go all the way back through the castle for no reason. Just use whatever item you just got. Not the best Metroidvania level design. Uh, looks like we can go down or right. Let's see if there's a uh, rock wall to crush. So a new item actually came in handy. But just for an HP max up. But I love the magic system in this one. I thought it was very well done with the, uh, the cards. I think at the end of the game, I was just running through things. Oh yeah. I remember game facts well. I used that for a lot of things back in the day. I remember trying to figure out how to try to revive Aerith in uh, Final Fantasy VII. Game facts. Everybody was typing all their theories on that way back in the day. But I remember making maps for this too. In my head. And on paper. I mean, it's got the map system, but you wanted to copy in that map after you had it filled out so you knew what the whole castle looked like. But I did that with a lot of stuff. Metal Gear. There are a whole bunch of games where having a map would have made things completely different. Then there were games to memorize, like Zelda. did like about these games is they were very responsive for a GBA game. I mean, sure, you couldn't see the screen all that well half the time, but... Star Ocean, I remember it. I never played it, but I may check it out, because I, I remember everybody liking it. That and, uh, I think it was Lufia. L-U-F-I-A. Uh, a lot of people said that was great, like Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. Um, the one I truly loved out of that time period was Legend of Dragoon, which was like a two or three disc game, I think on the original PlayStation. And that one was right up there with Final Fantasy VII for me. The problem is you run into all these dead ends and you don't remember the reason they were a dead end later. So you have to backtrack all over the damn place. New area, new music finally. I was getting sick of that. And it's got good music, but over and over and over the same bass beat. 
finally a save point. Yeah, Legend of Dragoon, you had to, like, during the fights, it kept you engaged because you had to hit certain button combinations during the attacks or certain timings to get the full attack out of it. And it didn't matter later all that much, but in the beginning, you wanted every ounce of attack you could get. And then you had the summons that were all dragon type summons and stuff. It was good. That was bad. Having the double jump is great, but having to run to do it makes the timing so awkward. Come on down. was fun. I don't remember much of it, but I remember beating it. It's one of the great things about those games that were so long and took so, so much work to beat is I never played them again, so they'd all be brand new to me now. I mean, I know I loved Legend of Dragoon, but for the life of me, I don't remember much about that game at all. I remember it being very long, uh, multiple characters. Oh, that was trash. I thought you could land on that ledge. Dodge that arrow. Secret? Yep. All I've found is MP maxes so far. Hardly, I think. One or two HP? Alright, we're to the top. Damn it. Oh, 
another one haste. That makes things easier. That sucked. Well, we love the one for shortcut. Nothing down there. Slide under. I think I'll slide back. Castlevania knockback. Oh, I love you. Hopefully, there's a save room. No, just another magic up. Alright, do I have anything to heal? Antidotes. Yay. One touch, all progress lost. Really? From underneath. How far back is that? Oh, that's forever away. Well, I had kind of said I was going to end at 2 a.m. So I just wanted to play for a little bit. So I think I'm going to probably call it there because I hate redoing everything I just did. I forgot I had to stop watch that whole time too. So thanks for stopping by, Kathy. Uh, share it and uh, hit that sub if you want to see the rest of the game played. But uh, thanks for having, or thanks for coming by and Hope you have a great night. I'm going to probably call it there because that's infuriating. All right, man. Have a good night.